fingers crossed that I will run into my future husband. Hey everyone, my name is Britt and I am going to break my book buying ban. I was doing very well. I think I haven't bought any books in over two months. However, I got a book voucher and I'm going to treat myself to some new books. And the best thing is I'm going to be buying books in the Netherlands at one of my favorite bookstores in Rotterdam, as well as in London, because I'm going to London in a little bit. So of course, I will be taking you along with me, browsing through some bookstores and most definitely buying some books. So super excited for this video. I hope you're going to like it. I just got dressed, did my makeup, put on some nice clothes because you never know, maybe I'll run into my future husband at the bookstore. <laughs> And my most favorite thing about my outfit are all the pieces of jewelry that I'm wearing because this part of the video is in collab with Anna Luisa jewelry. I will quickly tell you a little bit about Anna Luisa and then I will show you all the beautiful pieces that I'm wearing. So if you don't know, Anna Luisa is an amazing jewelry brand that really focuses on creating very sustainable pieces. So they are completely carbon and water neutral and they make sure that all their pieces, which range from $39 up, so they're super affordable as well, will last you years and years and years. I've had some pieces for years and they still look absolutely perfect. I'm obsessed. This is editing Brit because my usual code that would normally give you 10% off has been changed for November. So now if you use the code basically Brit 20, you can get 20% off all the pieces on the website. So let's get back to the video. I thought I would tell you right now because in my video, I said my old code. However, use the new code, basically Brit20. They're honestly just the perfect treat yourself gift, as well as gifts for like friends and family and how Christmas is coming up. Especially now it's important that they arrive on time so they ship worldwide, so they offer speedy worldwide delivery as well. But now let's take a look at the pieces that I'm wearing today. I am so excited. So first of all, I'm wearing a new earring party. But as you can see, a little, um, pearl earring and then a bigger one again with a pearl. I'm very much into the pearls right now. Loving this. And then I've got three necklaces. I've layered them all. However, you can of course also just wear them separately, but I've got this really beautiful teardrop stone that is so delicate and beautiful. And then a big chain as well as um, a, a bit of a smaller chain with a little heart. And I'm very excited about this combination. So this is what I'll be wearing to the bookstore today. Fingers crossed that I will run into my future husband. So if you want to check out Anna Luisa, don't forget to use my code BASICALLYBRIT10 to get 10% off all the pieces on their website. So maybe get a gift for yourself or for your family and friends. Again, thank you so much Anna Luisa for working with me on this part of the video. It really means a lot. But now let's go to the bookstore oh, and let's buy some books using my gift card. So it's not too bad. Okay, book shopping in the Netherlands is done. Now let's go to London. Yes, I'm filming it after I've already been to London. As you can see, I've got a new bookshelf as well. If you haven't checked out my video of me getting a new bookshelf, you can check it out up there. But let's get to London. Let's do some more book shopping. And then I will get back to you with a massive stack of books that I've got right here. I definitely did not only use my gift card.
Okay, we're back from London. It is time. It is time for a massive book haul. I'm gonna show you the entire stack. Oopsie. Uh, anyone remember in one of my previous videos, I was like, I want to read all my unread books on my shelf. I made a whole list of all my unread books, so like 115, and I thought by the end of this year, I want to read 100. Yeah, that is not going to happen. I just like buying books too much and I don't have to read all the books on my shelf, especially not like in the near future, maybe one day. But for now, we're gonna add these to the shelf and to the collection. Okay, I'm gonna put them right here. I will first start out with the books that I bought in um, the Netherlands, in Rotterdam, in my favorite bookstore called Donner. It's a very, very big bookstore with lots of Dutch as well as English books. So I like to go there, I use my gift card. I did spend a little bit more, however, I was very lucky with this gift card. I bought five. Shall I just start out with the most amazing find? You also saw in my video that I found that one in the vlog. I went to the second hand um, part that I have upstairs. I have so many cool books there and I was just browsing and suddenly I found this. It's a gold hardback book called The Wit of Oscar Wilde. I had never heard of this before. I just don't really know exactly what the premise of this book is because they're like introductions written by different authors and then there is a just something that Oscar Wilde has written. So I think they just picked out some of their favorite witty pieces by Oscar Wilde. So I'm pretty sure that everything that's in here written by Oscar Wilde is just, you know, some parts of his other works. But I saw it and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm freaking obsessed with this. Look at the back. You have the picture of Dorian Gray and just the, the spine, the rose. So gorgeous. So this is going um, on my Oscar Wilde collection. I am absolutely obsessed. Okay, then some more books. There were a few that I was, um, you know, I was looking for that were on my wish list, and then there was this one that I was just. I was seeing if they had something by Rilke because Rilke wrote Letters to a Young Poet which is one of my favorite books it's a non-fiction book all about his ideas about life and then I saw that this is a little collection of his poems because I've never read any of his poems before so I thought I would pick it up this is a really kind of creepy cover but I like it so yeah a little poetry collection I don't read that much poetry so I thought I would pick up a poetry collection. Also in the vlog you saw that I picked up this book, Tender is the Flesh, written by Agustina Bostarica. Bostarica, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is apparently a very creepy as dystopian novel where people are, I believe, kind of born to eventually be eaten. It's like cannibalism because they can't, I, I believe it was like, apparently they can't eat um, animals anymore. It says Marcos is in the business of slaughtering humans. Very creepy, very dystopian, but I don't know, it's it's very popular right now and it sounds a bit messed up, but you never know, might be good. Let me know in the comments if you've read this. Then this one was also very much on my TBR. Um, to be honest, the two books that I'm going to show you right now, I have no clue what they're about, but everyone is raving about them on TikTok. So I thought I would pick it up also because look at this cover, freaking amazing. This is called Cleopatra and Frankenstein, written by Coco Mellows. The hottest new book. An irresistible, unputdownable page turner of a novel. A love letter to New York. A love letter to love. Cleopatra and Frankenstein is a complex, funny, deeply felt, beautifully written debut. It takes place in New York. And I'm actually going to New York next year. <laughs> I will tell you more about that like on my social media and stuff. Um, yes, I'm going to New York. So this is a very exciting <laughs> to read a book that takes place in New York. Again, I want you all to let me know in the comments which books you have read and which books I should read first of this entire list. And then the last book I bought in Rotterdam was called Luster, written by Raven Lailani. It says, Edie is just trying to survive. She's messing up in her dead-end job and her relationship with Eric, a white middle-aged arch archivist in an open marriage. When she visits the suburban home Eric shares with his wife, Edie doesn't think she will be asked to stay or asked to provide advice to their adopted black daughter. Least of all does Edie expect that there she will be given space to do the thing that means the most to her, to paint, to document on canvas her own life. Finally, 
Ooh, this sounds very good. I'm excited to read this. Those were the books I bought in Rotterdam. And then I thought, hmm, maybe I'll just like buy one, max two books in London. That didn't happen. <laughs> okay, let's just do it. Let's go. First of all, I bought my first Emily Henry book called Book Lovers. I have never read any of her books before. Everyone is obsessed with these romance books. The thing is, I just don't really read much romance, hence why I haven't picked it up before. But I saw it at The Works, which is one of those really cheap bookstores in um, London or in England, and it was only five pounds, so I picked it up. I think this is about book lovers. <laughs> Nora is a cutthroat literary agent at the top of her game. Her whole life is books. Charlie is an editor with a gift for creating bestsellers and he's Nora's work and nemesis. Well, this is probably going to be an enemies to lovers and I'm quite excited. As I said, I just don't really much, uh, read much romance, but we'll see. Okay, then next up I went to Waterstones, the very big one in Piccadilly. And I honestly just picked up this book because I love the cover and I love these editions. These penguin editions with the kind of bluish spine because all the covers are photos, which I'm obsessed with. So I bought, I picked up this one, it's called Mary Gay Skill Bad Behavior. And apparently this is a collection of short stories, which I didn't know when I picked it up because I didn't look at anything online i didn't look at any reviews i just picked it up based on the cover <laughs> so yeah this is a collection of short stories it's tales of desire and dislocation in 1980s new york again new york i think i was meant to pick up this book because it takes place in new york looking at the cover i can pretty much um imagine that it will be about like life, sex, drugs, love, work, anything like that it takes place in New York. I'm very excited. Let's see, then I went to Hatchards. However, not the big Hatchards in Piccadilly, but the one at King's Cross, because that's where our train departed from. So we were there and I went into the bookstore and I thought, let's just buy some books here as well. The first one is this beautiful cloth bound edition of Oscar Wilde and the Star Child. This is a small one because I've also got a big one of the picture of Dorian Gray. But this is the small edition of the Star Child. And this is basically, again, a, a, a collection of short stories, including The Happy Prince, which is one of his most um, famous ones. So I just, I needed this. Even though I already have all of his works, I mean, look at this edition, okay? It's so cute. And then also at Hatches, I bought The Thursday Murder Club, written by Richard Osman. The reason I picked it up is because a friend of mine recommended this to me, and he said that it was really, really good, and all of his colleagues are enjoying it very much as well, because they're all doing a little book club together. Normally, I don't really read many thrillers, but I thought I would just get out of my reading comfort zone a little bit and pick up a thriller. In a peaceful retirement village, four unlikely friends meet up once a week to investigate unsolved murders. But then a brutal killing takes place, on their very doorstep. Who was murdered? What happened? Who murdered whom? I'm excited to read this again. Let me know if you've read this book. Okay, then another one. <laughs> I, another, I have bought so many Oscar Wilde books. I went to Tate Modern because we were just walking along the South Bank and of course all the museums are free so we just took a look um, at Tate Modern to see a few of the like the big art in the middle <laughs> where you could just walk in as well as some of the smaller artworks just in the, in the surrounding rooms. And I went to the little shop. And then I saw these editions of short stories. They also had one by Virginia Woolf, but I saw this one, The Critic as Artist. And this is basically an essay written by Oscar Wilde about, you know, art and his ideas and like artistic thinking and philosophy. And I don't know, again, I have this book already because I have this one big collection of all of his works, but I love this edition, okay, it's yellow. I love everything yellow. <laughs> I don't know if I will read like these smaller ones or if I will just read my big collection of all of his works, but I, I just wanted it, okay? <laughs> and then the last book I bought or actually got as a gift by my lovely friend, Riddy. Um, I met her actually through YouTube and the online world and we have met up a few times so when i was in london we decided to meet up and go to foils have a lovely cup of coffee and then buy each other a book and the book that i bought for her was everything i know about love by dolly elderton because i felt like you know it was one of those books that especially around her age uh, in her mid-20s it's a perfect book to read so i bought that one for her and then she bought this one for me and I, the fun thing is i've never heard of this before it is called the elegance of the hedgehog written by muriel barbary 
it takes place in Paris. As you can see, I have recently been to Paris, which was amazing. And Riddy actually told me to not really look at the synopsis and to just go into it, not really knowing what to expect. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to tell you what it's about because honestly, I just don't know what it's about. But that was such a fun idea to buy each other a book that, you know, we think the other one might really enjoy. So I'm super, super excited to read this one. Again, thank you so much, Riddy, for getting me this one. I also love the whole cover with Paris. I actually made a video all about my vlog to Paris, so if you haven't checked that out, again, you can check it out up there. So these were all the books that I got in the past week. <laughs> I'm now going to add them all to my to-read list. I don't want to know how many there are now, but I think my goal of reaching 100 unread books by the end of the year is at the window, which is fine. I'm just gonna take it slow. I'm gonna be the mood reader that I am and not set too many TBRs and honestly, just read the books that I feel like reading. I really hope you liked this video. If you did do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment a, okay, stack of books emoji. Very basic, but comment a stack of book emojis because it was all about books and buying many stacks of books. And also definitely don't forget to check out the Anna Luisa website if you want to get yourself any of these beautiful jewelry pieces and use the code basicallybrit20 to get 20% off all their pieces on their website. So get yourself a gift or for your family and friends because Christmas is coming up. So this is the perfect time to pick out some beautiful pieces. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video.